Hey yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Dylan, you guys are chilling with Dylan, and today we got a brand new unboxing review for you guys on the channel. So before we get started guys, if you do like this video, make sure you guys are smashing that like button and please hit the subscribe. We are cruising and really starting to build this channel. So make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe and don't forget to turn the post notification bell on so you don't miss another one of these uploads. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So these guys right here, all right, are a women's exclusive. However, this time around, they did extended sizing. So I was actually able to get my personal pair. You're gonna get it in an all over white box with kind of this sail grayish accent for that Nike Air, which is in gloss compared to the rest of the box, which is in that matte finish. The label is going to read Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG SP Special Release. The colorway is gonna be Cacao Wow, Cacao Wow on the box. However, these are gonna be known as the Dusted Clays. I personally got my size 11 and a half in men, which equivalates to a size 13 women's. Now, as you flip open the lid, these are going to be pretty unique in that, obviously, for some reason, Jordan Brand has been wrapping up all these shoes individually lately. I'm not sure why, but however, you are going to get this nice dust bag when you open up the box. So really nice dust bag. So it's going to have these like little not real gold but it's going to be metal with the uh the gold painted aglets right here um and i think that's a really nice touch man it, it makes these special releases kind of worth the price and obviously i'm going to say kind of worth the price because listen 200 dollars for any sneaker is too much money let's just be completely honest ain't nobody has to buy a 200 dollars sneaker but if it's going to be 200 dollars as sneakerheads, we want it to be worth it. And I think that all the details that they put in the sneaker and outside of it with the packaging, I don't know if you can ever say it justifies a $200 price tag. However, at least they included it to make us feel like it might be worth a $200 price tag. So like I said, you're gonna get that dust bag. And then I opened these guys up already, but they are gonna be coming individually wrapped, as you can tell from this one right here, individually wrapped. So you're gonna have to wrap that guy up, and then you're gonna get uh, the shoes. Now, right off the bat, guys, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is the best quality Air Jordan. You know, I'm not even gonna say one. I'm gonna say this is the best quality Air Jordan release of this entire year so far. And honestly, it, I mean, it may be a contender going up there towards the end of this year as being one of the better quality releases for the entire year of 2024. Now, why do I say that? It's because honestly, the material use is literally premium. Like they're not saying that this is a special release for nothing. These things are literally premium. You got really nice materials all over. Craftsmanship is fantastic. You're not going to get many glue marks. You're not going to get crazy threading issues or, you know, uh, you know, uh, scuffs up in the suede already. Um, you just kind of have to rub up the suede when you first get it to make it, uh, you know, that hairy suede again. But man, these guys are so nice. Honestly, like, first off, I love this colorway. Okay. Secondly, it's just like, what a great execution. I mean, you know, would I rather have probably had a leather on the toe box and then also the medial? Yeah, probably like a like a sail leather or something like that. But the fact that they went all suede and they used great materials and the colorway is absolutely fire. This is nice, guys. These are really nice. And like I mentioned previously, this is a strictly women's release. However, they did do extended sizing up to a men's 15. I got my personal size, which is a men's 11 and a half. So luckily I'll be able to fit my toes into these guys because usually on those women's releases they only do like a size women's 12 which i believe goes up to a men um 10 and a half so luckily i'm able to cop these joints and actually wear them so let's get into it first thing you're going to notice right off the rip is that these guys are going to come with this really nice premium leather hang tag you're going to get that nike air joint on that really nice cacao wow color I'm gonna call it chocolate because it looks like a chocolate bar hanging off of the shoe right there, but really nice. You got the Nike Air um, branding, like that uh, debossing 
really nice feeling leather really just i mean the suede use on this sneaker is mwah, chef's kiss it's it's fantastic so you're also going to get touches of satin as well so when you get over to the tongue itself as you can tell you're gonna get a nice satin tongue all over so on the front and on the back you're gonna get that really nice satin tongue you're also gonna get a satin sock liner inside of the shoe as well which I think is a really nice premium touch. Like I said, guys, nice premium touches all throughout this sneaker. You're also going to get a second set of laces. Now, my lace box came all, uh, you know, mangled and stuff like that. But you're going to get a second set of laces, which I'll show you with the overhead shots. But a nice cacao wow or that chocolate brown color. Really nice that they included a second set of laces. Then when you get in a side of the sneaker and you're looking at that satin sock liner, if you look down on that insole, you're gonna get that dusted clay, orangish, clayish color with the uh, Nike Air branding and that cacao wow or that mocha brown chocolate-ish. Um, really nice guys, like, it, it, I don't even know what else to say about these things. They're just super, super nice. And honestly, like I know some people are saying that the colorway is nice, but maybe the color blocking or whatever is a little bit odd. I'm digging these joints, man. I, I love how you're getting that mocha brown chocolate, and then you're also getting the sail colored suede on the on the toe box, which is, I mean, you're not you're not gonna get this type of level. Like, so for instance, right, the Air Jordan ones came out in the Royal to Reimagines. The Royal Reimagines they ain't got nothing on these guys. I mean. The, the suede on this is way nicer. The actual build quality on these things is way nicer. The shape on them is perfect. They, they really knock these things out of the ballpark. Now, I did forget to mention that the original set of laces that is going to come pre-laced in these guys is just going to be a nice sail or like oatmeal colored lace, which I think is nice. So uh, it's kind of going to match that tongue and also going to match the suede, like I said, that's on the toe box and on the medial side of the shoe. Now, as you get up towards the wings, the ankle collar, and the back heel tab, you are going to get that beautiful dusted clay color. I mean, what a fantastic color this is. I really dig that clay color, to be completely honest. Like that burnt orange, really nice. And then going toward the outsole, you're also going to get that really nice dusted clay color. That nice hit all on the outsole. Like I said, guys, well, also not to mention, I got a little bit of dusted clay on myself right now. It's going to go pair perfectly with this snake here. I mean, you could throw some really nice fits. Now, uh, the only thing I will note here, okay, fantastic shoe, great execution, great quality. However, I think the timing of this sneaker was pretty poorly executed as far as I am concerned. I think that they should have possibly waited for this release and drop it to us in like September, October, November the fall uh season because these guys would go crazy in the fall especially with the brown the dusted clay you can rock these with some olive um pants or or some jeans or something like that um some khakis i mean you, the, the pairing with these things is pretty much endless i mean i know some people say it could be hard to come up with some outfits while we're trying to rock these but i don't i don't see that I, I mean browns pretty much go with everything and this is just a really nice pop of color that kind of sets it apart from any other Jordan 1 in your collection. Now, another thing to note on this pair of shoes is that you're going to get an embossed or debossed, I always forget it, but it's kind of a pressed in Air Jordan Wings logo, and it is the same color. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's really nice that they did it this way. It just, like I said, it gives it a nice classy premium feel. Everything on here just feels premium. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, a lot for this specific review but like I, I i personally and truly honestly just don't know what else to say about these things they're just so good they are so good i doubled up on these things guys <laughs> i know that they're expensive but i did i doubled up on these because i do see myself wearing these a lot like and i don't want to be the guy that's gonna say you know uh anything that has mocha or chocolate or the cacao wow color on it is gonna be a travis scott you know, I'm not going to say that, but I will say if you don't have any of the Travis Scott's in the mocha color, yes, this is all suede, but the premium suede is pretty much just like those. And, you know, that dusted clay is such a cool earth tone color. I mean, if you don't have them, this would be a pretty dope add on to your collection, especially for the fall. 
you know, you can rock these things just like you would those. I mean, granted, it's not an all Chicago color blocking uh, like the um, OG high Travis Scott's, um, but I love these guys. <laughs> I really do. And I know I'm just going to keep repeating myself over on how good these things are, but I really do truly believe that at the end of this year, we're going to be talking about these things as possibly having the best quality and one of the better releases. Now, I'm not talking about resale here. I'm not talking about resale. If you guys have smaller feet, you can get these things for retail. Now, the bigger sizes sold out everywhere, um, obviously, because they're not going to make that many pairs in the bigger sizes, considering this is a women's release. Uh, I'm not talking about resale as far as, you know, a sneaker to talk about at the end of the year. No way. I'm not talking about that because, like I said, it's a women's release. Um, the bigger sizes may go for some money down the line, but I wouldn't bank on that. I'm simply just talking about the materials, the colorway itself and the execution of it i do think this is probably going to be one of the better jordan one releases of the year now exclude the travis scott's because obviously those things are going to go crazy on the resale we're supposed to get a lot of travis scott one lows this year um but other than that i mean the only other one that i'm pretty hyped for as far as a high is the black toe reimagined and also they're going to be coming out with an olive um pretty similar to the university blue air journal ones and also the yellow ochres from um this past year or was it earlier this year i forget already uh, but the same exact way those are on the chicago color blocking with the black uh, swoosh is going to be a nice olive suede pair so i'm really looking forward to those but other than those two man i, I don't see another air journal one unless there's another collab coming out soon that is going to touch it as far as quality and i know i just did a whole bunch of rambling but let me know, please, down below in the comment section, what you guys personally think about these things. Did you go for them? Did you pick them up? Do you not like them at all? Do you think that, you know, oh, it's a women's shoe. I can't wear it as a guy. It's not a women's colorway. Like, let's just be honest. This is a neutral colorway. Um, it's just got browns, that dusted clay burnt orange, sail. It's a perfect colorway, in my opinion. Um, just but let me know did you go for them did you cop them do you not like them let me know all the good stuff down below in the comments if you did enjoy this video guys please make sure you guys are smashing the like button please subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and don't forget to turn the post notification bell on so you don't miss another one of these perfect unboxing and reviews and that's gonna do it for me guys so my name is dylan you guys just chill with dill and i'm out peace